If you're a high ticket affiliate marketer, coach, course creator, or anyone that sells anything online, you need to know this one very small little stat. And that stat is that there's only around about 3% of the marketplace that are willing, ready, and able to make a purchasing decision in the immediate future. But then that begs the question, well, what about the other 97%? What do we do with those? And so today's video is all about how you can nurture around about 30% of your marketplace to make sure that instead of just focusing on the people that are ready, willing and able to buy now, you nurture those leads for longevity in your business to make sure that you're maximizing lifetime customer value through the relationships that you build. What this ensures us is that we don't need huge audiences in order to make a substantial income online. We just need to know how to build that relationship with our audience in order to extract the most value and build that connection with them as well. Before I get into that though, welcome to the channel. My name is Jamie Gardner and since 2011, I've been an affiliate marketer, digital ad strategist and high ticket coach. And what I teach on this channel is really just me documenting the last 12 plus years of being online, hopefully teaching you guys a few things about sales and marketing and offer creation, cutting through all the noise that's out there and really just getting to the crux of what is going to drive your business forward. Anyway, with all that being said, feel free to hit the subscribe button if that's of interest and drop any comments along the way. Always love your feedback in order to help me improve this channel. All right, so this little diagram here is uh, from Chet Holmes's book. It's called The Ultimate Sales Machine. And what he talks about is that there is only around about 3% of the marketplace that are ready, willing, and able to make a purchasing decision in the immediate future. Now, the problem with this approach and why sometimes certain industries seem really, really competitive is because everyone is targeting that same 3%. Of course, this does work. If you are approaching with a direct response copy objective, then of course, you're going to be going after those people that have an interest and they're raising their hand metaphorically to get further information regarding that, meaning that you're starting to build a pipeline of warmer leads. However, one thing to bear in mind is that what about the people that are in the six to seven percent range that are in the sorry three to ten percent range so the extra seven percent what do you do with those folks and what about the folks that are in the 30 percent that are not really thinking about it at this moment and then the other 30 percent that don't ever think that they're interested at all and what about the people that know that they're not interested well of course we're not going to be able to sell to the people that know they're not interested and there's no point in doing so however what we can do by understanding some of these things is that our TAM, our TAM, our total, total addressable marketplace is actually quite large if we take into consideration the volume of people that may be willing at some stage to make a purchasing decision. Now, that's not to say that we are going to need to sell to all those folks either. We not, might, might not have the perfect solution for all of them for starters. And realistically, what we're looking to do is just train uh, over time, the 30% that we believe we can get in front of that we might have the appropriate resource for them when they are ready, willing and able to make that decision themselves. Now, the reason I wanted to put this video together and the reason I wanted to put it together now is uh, I just had a high ticket deal come through uh, just in the last couple of hours. Now, the crazy thing about this is I connected with this person around about 18 months ago, give or take. Now, I remember when we connected and they had joined my community, we went back and forth a whole bunch of times. They ended up getting some coaching from someone else and that's cool. That's just the way that things happen sometimes. Now, the crazy thing was they have obviously been absorbing my content for a little while. And this is how a lot of my sales come to be because I am playing the long game. And so what happens is, of course, this particular person at the time was probably in the, the latter 30% that they don't think that they're interested at all. To the point where when I had a conversation with them, they didn't even know my ultimate marketing mastermind program existed or really what it contained and how it could help them out. So we went through this process to dissect exactly what they wanted in their business, how I was able to help them, how I was able to help people that were in similar situations. And in a very relaxed fashion, we're able to strike a deal that works for both sides, which is awesome. Now, I say this to highlight to everyone that if you are focusing on the long game in terms of nurturing your prospects, in terms of making sure that you've got an adequate follow-up process in place that doesn't just look for the immediate cash flow, but looks for the future cash flow you can generate from your audience, this is how you're gonna build a highly sustainable and highly profitable business over an extended period of time. 
like I say, problem is so many folks are only targeting that 3%, which means they get really frustrated when everything seems really confused and saturated because it seems like everyone is going after the same small group of prospects that have metaphorically risen their hands, said, hey, I'd like to get some info. I'm a, I'm a ready, willing, and able buyer. Um, so that is the problem. Now, how do you go about this? Well, it's actually really simple. What I teach and what I suggest you do as well, if you are relatively new to the whole online marketing game and uh, just to paint a little bit of context, what I teach inside my Ultimate Marketing Mastermind program is how to take a very small audience and nurture it in rapid succession, okay? So there's a couple of things that we do that is gonna help you and one of the things I would suggest is think about ways that you can elevate your own authority to your target market inside your own community. And you can do that really simply. You can have things like lead magnets that aim to give a ton of value up front, solve a potential problem that that person might be experiencing. You can also have things like uh, a guide section or a welcome video that is designed to elevate your authority, show in advance that you've been able to solve similar problems for similar people historically. You're doing this for free without expectation of ever transacting but what you're trying to establish in the minds of your prospects is hey i've got some stuff it might help you out at some stage if and when you are ready willing and able to make that purchasing decision i might have it not saying i do i might right now the reason why that is really powerful is because right off the bat you are establishing that you have some level of clout some level of authority in front of your ideal target market and what happens over time is if you're putting out content that follows a similar theme that aims to establish rapport, aims to establish that authority with your ideal prospects at some stage, because of the consistency that you've managed to show, some folks will just magically come forward out of the woodwork and make a purchasing decision. And what has happened throughout this time is because of you consistently putting out this content, pre-selling on the objections that you might see pop up uh, that your problem program can solve, and you've been consistent with that, then they are already pre-sold before they get into your sales pipeline at all. And so that is how you start to target the people that are in the six to 7% range and the further 30% out range as well. So that's it, that's uh, the video for today. What I'd suggest is to put this into more practical terms for everyone is go set up a Facebook group, go put some questions in the membership question area that elicits data that you're going to be able to use in your content and in your objection handling and pre-objection handling as well. Now, the ones that I use real simply, what's the number one thing you would like to learn from this community? Powerful stuff. And the reason for that is because if people jump in and you're saying, hey, what are you struggling with in your business? They're not going to tell you because they don't know you yet. They think, well, how, why would I expose myself like that? I don't want to, I don't want to be sold anything right now. But if they want to learn something, it has a fun spin on it. It's more likely that they will reveal to you, oh, actually, I'd love to learn more about lead generation techniques. Cool. So therefore, if you go and communicate with these people and you have something that helps solve that problem, guess what? You've risen your authority up. And thus, we start the cycle. Pretty cool stuff, right? So that's it. Um, put those questions in. Have something that elevates your authority. Get the proper help you need in order to grow a la the ultimate marketing mastermind hit the link below is a free case study there if you'd like to check that out and see what we're up to inside ultimate marketing mastermind and helping able to help hundreds of students that have similar problems to yourself in terms of branding coaching high ticket affiliate marketing all that type of stuff as well so with all that being said my name is jamie gardner i want to say a massive thanks for joining me here today hit the uh, comments let me know your thoughts and i'll see you in the next one cheers